25 games down, three more to go, including this one. The battle between Thailand and Peru. Neither of these teams can qualify for the Olympic Games as those four slots now belong to Italy, the Netherlands, Korea, and Japan. But they are fighting for strong finishes here for Pride and for their country's colors. Welcome to this wonderful Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. I'm Patricia Hezon. We have been treated to seven wonderful days where we saw the Netherlands soar to higher heights with their five wins, one loss. Italy followed suit with a win after Japan. They improved to a 5-1 record. And we see down the line you also had Korea winning their fifth uh, match earlier and then two losses, Japan 4 and 2. You have here the players of Peru. For Peru, they're already out of the running for a ticket to Rio with their sixth place so far position. They had two wins and four losses. For Peru, though, they can claim their third win at this Olympic qualification tournament. They only won one match in 2012, where they finished seven. For Thailand, they are fifth with three wins, three losses. They came from two sets behind to win 3-2 against Korea, and that was a thrilling five-setter, only the second one that we saw in this tournament. They can now claim three successive wins at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament, and that will happen for the first time. And it's been absolutely thrilling to have all of you follow the games of the FIVB. You know that Brazil, China, Serbia, Russia, Argentina, USA, and Cameroon have already qualified with four more that came from here. It's now down to those 11 teams, and there's actually being uh, still one slot being uh, held and being contested for at this juncture and it's between Colombia, Puerto Rico, Kenya and Algeria and that's happening at the other tournament in Puerto Rico. Here for Peru and Thailand, they are hoping to finish strong and look forward to the next opportunity that they will try to make it to the Olympic Games. Thailand, the only team here in Japan that has never qualified for the Olympics, that they've had a good run here. They are looking forward to winning three competitive matches in a row, which is something that they haven't done since a run of five back in 2014, 2015. And of course, before we start these tournaments, it's always important and imperative to honor these two countries. We won't be seeing their flags at the Rio Olympic Games, but their flags proudly stood tall here at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of the Republic of Peru. And the national anthem of 
This is going to be a very interesting and high energy match between Thailand and Peru. Thailand beat Peru in straight sets at the 2012 World Olympic Qualification Tournament. And they also beat Peru in straight sets in their last two meetings at world level tournaments. The other one, the 2011 World Grand Prix and the 2007 World Cup. Will Peru be able to exact revenge on their Thai tormentors here in this match? It's definitely going to be exciting. Peru will try to bounce back after they were beat by the Netherlands. The Netherlands were, were off to their first Olympics to the, after 20 years of waiting. And they ended the real hopes of the young South Americans. We have here our wonderful officials who will get to run the show and make sure that all will go well. They have technology and a slew of other officials around. Um, to support and to also ensure that this game, the third to the last of our 2016 World Olympic Qualification Tournament for women here in Tokyo, Japan, will be exciting, unhampered, and absolutely thrilling for all the fans. Let's bring out the best of these two squads, starting with our unit here that will kick things off for Peru. You will see that they have Leva there starting things off. Uribe as their team captain also will be starting off. No surprises that Frias is also being used to start here. They'll have uh, Frias also, as I mentioned, she's the 22nd best scorer and she's looking to do well with Munoz. They're helping her out with Echescas and Palacios. Palacios, the third best digger here in this tournament, averaging 3.2 per set. Coach Mauro Marasiulo hoping that this being his first full year as a coach will end well for them with a victory. Now let's get to meet the starters for Thailand. They start with the young Porn Pun again, who is the eighth best setter, and she's a great one-two punch with Nutsara, but Porn Pun has also been helping Onuma. Onuma was the hero of the last game. Love the way she played. She ended up with 22 points in the last game. Tat Dao is also there. Plumjit will be starting things off. Kantong Malika will also be there for Coach Odd. And this unit will have a full complement of these hard-working starters that will have Ad Charaporn, the 11th best spiker in this tournament so far. Ad Charaporn is one of those players, fighters that you know will bring out the best in her team. Let's see how she will lead the charge. She has been over... Uh, taken by Onuma, who's now the seventh best scorer, then Tadao, the tenth best scorer, along with Plumjit in this tournament. So you have these uh, wonderful and young Thai uh, players that are breaking into those uh, top ranks in uh, our tournament. Palacios will start this off instead of uh, Echescas, and you will see the squad right here with the coin toss being won earlier by team captain Plumjit before the warm-ups. You see Tadao Nukjang 22 years old, 183 centimeters high. She'll start this off with the service. And here we go. Set number one is underway between Thailand and Peru. They go to free us in that instance. Here's Onuma. They'll set it up to Malika. Frias to Munoz. Quick right there. Good touchdown by Uribe. Side out for the South Americans. Peru. Hoping that they'll be able to bounce back from a loss in their game against the Netherlands, which was in straight sets. Strong, powerful hit there from the left side from Ajcharaporn. Malika for service, the best server in the 2009 FIVB World Grand Champions Cup, also the 2014-2015 Pro Liga League, and the Azerbaijan Super League. Look at that power that was received well by Frias. The tip over, saved by Plumjit over there. They'll attack from Onuma, doing enough from that back row to tip it over. A point for Thailand.
Onuma was a, is the seventh best scorer. We talked about her and how she amassed 76 total now with 68 spikes, four blocks, four serves. That service by Malika all the way where, of course, you had Palacios earlier, but this one won by the Dominican Republic for that point, and that leaves the squad from Thailand stopped thinking that they had won that as this service now ago you'll have be a nut, I believe, on the floor. She receives that ball still live. Onuma sends it over. Good recovery there also by Ad Shadaporn. The reverse through Ad Shadaporn's defense right there, and she goes right back up over Icheskas. Here's Munoz. They'll go to Leva. Great cut shot right there by Leva, and it's a Peruvian lead 3 to 2. Third best scorer in this tournament. Watch the service here of Rueda going to Onuma. Always a good target to have there. Ad Shadapurn, that ball returned by Rueda. She's going to go again. That time, they couldn't put a handle on that as Palacio splattered on the floor after that hit with authority from Ad Shadapurn. Best outside spiker in the 2013, 2014, and 2014, 2015 Thailand League. And she, though, misses on that opportunity to get on the driver's seat. But Coach Odd right there, after just giving some pointers, will watch his girls, most likely Onuma, to receive the service coming from Leva. But that time, though, it went to Malika. They'll go from the outside to Ad Shadaporn and scores a new. And there's a collision there on the floor. That involved Rueda. And they're taking a look at her right now. As we take a look at what happened earlier as they tried and that was a strong collision as they tried to go for that ball. It was a collision between Rueda and Palacio. She's a bit shaken, but she's the trooper that she is. She'll stay on that floor after being checked by uh, referee Kraft. And we're tied at four, Plumjit. For this service, Plumjit Tinkau, the team captain, 32 years old, serves it over to where Frias earlier was. Frias will go up and will be blocked, but that's out. You know, Tat Dao is the number four best blocker right now. That time, though, that shot just went out and didn't get to uh, touch and graze Frias. And so you have Icheskas for that service, Tat Dao putting it up. Onuma to Icheskas. That battle won by Onuma this time as Munoz tried to spike it through. Here's that save, Munoz. And good angle on Onuma for that block, stuffing it right back. Service by Puan Puan. Watch that back too. That was earlier to the side of the Dominican Republic. They'll try to push it through again. Malika Munoz and Oribe will score after that touch from that front left defender for Thailand. Nothing that Onuma could do it in that instance. And Oribe scores with Munoz in the service area now. Alexandra Munoz, good job there. Earlier by Pianot, but they will score again. And now in succession, this squad from Peru looking to gain more momentum. They're up by two. Munoz back in the service area, averages 6.8 per set. Watch where either Malika is, but that time put up by Juana, or rather Pianot earlier. But an error there off of that reception brings us to our first technical timeout with Peru leading 8 to 5. And we mentioned how Peru lost in straight sets. This time they don't want to end with another defeat.
Pra ver se a gente pega um pouquinho aí, mais difícil jogar com o tempo pra cá, e aí tem que jogar pra tudo, ok? Essa não é a primeira armadura, por isso um pouco de mais dificuldade, ok? Então sim. Peru with six attack points so far. You're taking a look at Rueda. She's fine after that collision, that scary collision that she had against Palacios earlier. What a trooper she is. And she continues to join the likes of Uribe and company. As you see that Dao or Numa, Malika, Adjaraporn on the floor to try to challenge this squad. Let's see what Pianut will also do. Here's the service by Munoz. And that's just wide right there. Point for Thailand. Onuma, she was able to get 22 points. She won 22 points for Thailand. Good service earlier by Onuma. She puts it up after that attack coming from Rueda. Here's that attack by Anshadaporn, and she dumps it on two, and that's a point right there for Tatao. Tat Dao, the best middle blocker in the 2015 VTV International Women's Cup, who represented Thailand in the Asian Women's Volleyball Championship, where this team won the gold. Onuma for service to Palacios. Here's the setup. They go for a strong attack there by Rueda, only to be denied. And Thailand, look at this. They were able to build up momentum. And another brilliant blocking right there, stuffing it right back by Tat Dao. Scoring two from Tat Dao from those blocks. Here's Onuma again. They go from that right attack. Great job there by Wana. Back row attack by Onuma, and she is still on fire from last game. Look at her go over the defenders and through what could have been another collision there by Munoz and Leva. They now lead, good service. They always go to Rueda, and good decision on her part. That was heavy, a hit for another ace for Onuma. In the last game, it was Nukjang Tatdao who did the job in terms of service, and now Onuma is on a roll. Onuma had four points off of Aishi. She's contributed from the service line prior to this game, and she continues to do so here for Thailand. Now Thailand enjoys this 10 to 8 advantage with their six attacks two blocks and an error apart from that service that reverse right there that will go to frias will be returned though that was just out that's out of play there for thailand side out for peru on the line magilaura frias with that hard hit right there earlier to pianot Minos tries to recover here. It's the back row attack dug by Porn Pun. They'll go to Onuma. Why not? Munoz there with the reception. To Rueda they go and they try to finish it off with Oribe. Here's the attack from the right flank and that's just out of play. Frias, the best outside spiker and best receiver in the 2015 Under-20 Latina Women's Junior Volleyball Cup with that service once again to Pianut. Here's Adshadaporn denied, stuffed right back. Look at Rueda and Oribe conniving to put back that attack by Adshadaporn, and that was all Rueda. Once again to Pianot with a quick right there in the middle, but that'll be a point for the uh, 
Peruvian squad with a touch right there on the net by Tata. Let's take a look at what happened again on her swing on her way down. She grazed that net and referee Hactiva calling it for the Dominican Republic, or rather for Peru, who's now leading 12 to 10. Though that's why there in that last service by Frias. Peru is 23rd in the world. Now Thailand, who's 13th in the world, with an opportunity to tie this with that service earlier by Tadao, who misses on that, but that attack went wide. Still, there was a touch, and now a point will be awarded once again to Peru, and that's down the line, actually, as Uribe troops to that service area. 31-year-old team captain is one strong contender. Dug up that ball right there, Munoz. Sends it over to Leva. Good job by Pianut. Porn Pun getting part of the action. Onuma tries to finish it. Good up there by Rueda. Fria sends it over. Porn Pun again on the right side. Hits the face right there. Porn Pun continues to make this an interesting rally once again denied malika right there to porn put once again they hit it off of and through rather the block at sharapon scoring for thailand with this as rueda tried to stop that couldn't do anything as she hits the edge of that block at sharapon scores again malika for service Frias, not a good handle on that one. They bumped that over. Porn Pun to Achara Porn. Again, ripping through that defense. No wall strong enough in that instance. When Achara Porn goes up like that, she climbs her way up from the 11th best spiker in this tournament. Achchara Porn was the seventh best scorer prior to their last game against Korea. Here's that attack, buries it straight down. Impressive. Lethal shot right there coming from Leva. Rueda for service. Shut up one again through the defense. Good dig by Palacios. Munoz sends it over to Leva. Good job by Pianot. Here's the attack by Malika. Frias part of that. Again, they go to Leva. Off speed, though. As it grazed the net, it changed the speed, the trajectory a little bit. And it, it went above Plumjit. Rueda for service. Watch Pianot now. Oh, they go to Onuma. Porn Pun to Ajchara Porn. What a great way to end that rally. Quickly side out for Thailand. It's 14, serving 15, as Onuma had a better handle on that. And again, great setup job by Porn Pun. Ajchara Porn. The best outside spiker in the Thailand League and the best server in the 2012 Thailand League, also in the VTV Cup Championships. But her serve well received earlier by Frias and a good Echeska's finish here after she slid from that beautiful dime from Munoz. And we are now at our second technical timeout with Peru on top 16-14. And the wonderful fans of Thailand will try to let their voices be heard as they try to cheer on their squad who find themselves down by 2, 16 to 14. Plum Jit, Porn Pun, and the rest of them prepare for Leva service. Watch for that back row where Malika is. She gets it up. The setup for Plum Jit. Good job by Porn Pun with a quick reverse right there for Plum Jit. 
and the team captain scores off of Palacios there. Nothing that Palacios can do, mind you. Palacios here is one impressive receiver, but Point Point able to get the best of her. She's the third best digger. As Munoz sets it up, also on that side, Cheskas, ooh, got away there. She also hit that net earlier this time, though they com convincingly win that point. It just got earlier, blocking her way through. On that service area to Malika earlier, that back row attack going through and sliding off Rueda for another point for Thailand, needing only one to tie it. Point point with the service to Frias. Ruedas is denied with, uh, once again, you have Onuma with her hand in that, as Tala now ties it against Uribe's attack. Get part, Point Pun, the eighth best setter. She's doing a wonderful, stellar job here with Nutsara at that time. They just needed. They just needed that Dao. Let's take a look at how she denied that huge, would have been destructive attack there from Leva, who's the number three best scorer, and that Dao shows why she's number four at uh, blocks. But that one was, again, well played from the service area all the way to the back for an ace. And Thailand now up by two and a timeout called to try to break Thai's momentum called by Peru. Peru is one of the youngest teams here in this tournament, and they will have a good number of players who you're seeing here who can probably see action at the 2020 Olympic Games. None of these teams will now be able to qualify for Rio 2016. Those have been determined, uh, but they are playing for pride. And at the same time, these two teams will need to show uh, also their force to finish strong here. And speaking of finishing strong, after that great block, you see early Earlier, um, you had a right there for stuffing it right back after that attack. Point Pun with the service. They go to Frias. Here is Munoz back to Frias. Once again, Malika doing the work. She's number 15 in terms of spiking. She is number five as the best receiver here. She's got 44.97% effectivity. But Malika will now be uh, challenged by Palma. We haven't been seeing much of Palma throughout this tournament. But here's Frias to Adsharaporn, and they managed to send it over. Good job there by Porn Porn. And Malika once again getting part of that. It's still live thanks to, uh, to their libero earlier. Palacios tried to do what she can, but in that last play, after ball was returned with authority by Onuma, it was way out of reach. And coming in cold on the floor, Hilary Palma, Palma became a target. Thailand now needing only three. Joust. And this will be won by a point here for Thailand again. And Tatdao forcing Munoz and them to commit those errors as you have still Porn Pun on that service area 23 to 17. They try to control that with Palma. She's going to be a target here. Palacios tries to send it up. They'll go to Frias. In that setup phase, 
they had Onuma with that brilliant approach as she scores off of Munoz's block attempt. And it's 24-17 set point for Thailand. Here comes that back row attack. Good job by Munoz. That was deflected by Thai's blockers. And that just went wide. And that'll be a set win here in this battle between Thailand and Peru for the Asians. Thailand winning it 25-17. to and what an initial set that was. Onuma absolutely still inspired by her last uh, performance against Korea. And now losing their fourth straight set since their last game. Peru hoping that they'll find the formula here to bounce back. They have Leva as the top three scorer. But then you have Onuma, Tadao, and even Atsharapur. And these are the ones that are in uh, the top 20 in terms of scoring. But after Leva, Frias is the next one who's most efficient in scoring for Peru. She's number 22. It's going to be an interesting second set to see how these fans from Thailand will continue to enjoy this game that Ad Charaporn and company are showing. Thailand is leading in the attacks department 14 to 9. They also have two service aces. Errors, though, they must limit that. Peru taking care of it, taking care of business a bit better in that department. Five blocks, though, for Thailand. It's been tough for Peru to deal with. Tadao also showing her strength in that department. 13 digs for Thailand. It's really been a good showing for Juana and Pianut so far. And the rest of them, so far in terms of attacks, you have here Atchadaporn leading and setting the pace for Thailand with her six attack points. Four for Onuma. She's, again, been showing a wonderful performance here. Malika with two, and you also have one from Plumjit and one from Tat Daos. You have the supporters of these squads here and uh, enjoying the wonderful festivities uh, that uh, our gracious hosts here in Tokyo have put together. These seats will be filled as later on we will have in this last day Italy going up against Kazakhstan and the battle between Japan and the Netherlands will definitely make this uh, an exciting match for the fans here in Japan of volleyball as you can see volleyball is really embraced here celebrated in fact and same in Thailand also where volleyball is a top sport as well and these ladies from Peru as well are celebrated back in their country and I'm sure that a lot of those who are following this match from Peru are excited and uh, are uh, looking forward to see how they'll bounce back in set number two Again, after that first set, Thailand ended up on top 25 to 17. How will Peru respond now, Munoz, in that service area? She's a brilliant setter. Watch out for that back end right there where Pianut is, and Pianut decides to let that go, and that is out of play. Pianut and Juana. Trading spots here, Juana, on the floor, as you have Malika for service. Malika is the 15th best spiker, 5th best receiver here in this tournament. Munoz will set it up for Frias. And what power behind Frias' hit. She's logged in 46 spikes so far before coming into this game. And Magilaura Frias scores for Peru. Reverse there for the team captain, puts it away. Plumjit, the 10th best scorer. Puts it to their advantage. 
And you now have preparing for the service of Peru, which will have the heavy hitter in Oribe at that service area. You have Pianut on the floor. It's likely the service to go to her. Instead, it goes to Malika. Quick tip over right there on two. Here's Leva again, the blocking there of Plumjit, working well. Rueda sends that over. Ajra Porn with the save. Malika to Frias. Rueda easily goes through the challenge that Sitra Konuma had. As Uribe troops back with now Peru leading 3 2. To Malika they go after that service. It's going to be a free ball opportunity. Munoz sets it up for Icheskas. Munoz this time will set it up over on the other end to Leva. And that is a point for Peru as Leva swipes it off the block. Oh, wow, a service ace. Good call right there by Rueda on where to drop that as Malika. Not being able to control that. Uribe back in that service area. Back to Malika. Go better job this time controlling that. They go to Onuma. The power hit goes cross court where Uribe was. And Onuma threw the defense of Icheskas and Rueda made a statement there, still really reeling from that wonderful performance she had in the last game where she had 22 points in that five-setter. Leva with the attack, and that one stopped right back. Tat Dao. Oh, but that one was off the shorter but feisty point point there for that point for Thailand, who trails only by one to free as they went for that. And a quick right there to Echeskas. They set up Onuma again. And Onuma hits it over where Frias was. Remember that Frias is the number four best receiver here in this tournament. Not that time though, her 47.7% efficiency went down the drain against Onuma. In that instance, as Plumjit went up for this service to Frias, they go now to Leva. Good job by Munoz saving it. Icheska to Rueda, Ajara Porn to Porn Pun. And here comes Onuma again to Frias. She has her number. This crowd getting louder with each hit from Onuma. Onuma has always been known for her powerful spikes. So is Leva, who sends that to the back. Watch it now. And it just rips right through Porn Pun that time. Of course, she tries to evade Tat Dao. Again to Malika, that service by Rueda. Here's Adshara Porn. Rueda digs that. And they go to Leva again, this time evading Tat Dao right where Pianot was. And Leva showing us why she is in the top three in terms of scoring in this tournament. Rueda back in the service area. Pianot that joust over, which involved Porn Pun, will be called a fault, and that will now be to the advantage of Peru, who goes to our first technical timeout. Looking good here in the second set, hoping that they'll win this time around against Thailand, who already secured that first set victory. Depois é muita situação para recuperar. Já passou a paralela outra vez. Chegaram e não cerrou, passou dentro. Essas são nós. A diagonal defendeu bem, não defendeu paciência. Não pode ter muita diferença nisso. Quem? Para mim, colocar, né, cara? Terminando, terminando. Parei! 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 Parei!
Where are the attacks of Thailand coming from? They do lead in the attacks department. They are also leading in the blocks department so far, but it's still Peru on top, eight to six with, uh, of course, uh, Coach Marasiulo hoping that Uribe will do more than the three that she's already done. Carla Rueda with one point. You have Magilaura Frias with two so far. And Angela Leva doing work with three. Serve for Carla Rueda. Add shut up point there to receive it. Quick on Numa, not using power that time and did enough for Leva to just watch it graze over her and no one was able to get to that on time for another point by Thailand. Point point in the service area. Leva sends it wide though and that's out of play for another point by Thailand now tying it at eight. Thailand's Puan Puan has 10 points to her name, a total of 14 with two blocks and two service points also. She puts that ball up. Oh, it was a bad bump set right there for Juana. And it's also unfortunate that you had Puan Puan hitting that post on the side. She's gonna be all right. Pianut will be checking in here. She's gonna shake off. After that collision, she's trying to prepare though. Malika was uh, on the receiving end of that hit. Tentative actions there as that went up for it and Malika read it as if she was going to hit it. Now, this is a better run play with that Thou throwing it down hard down the line. And that's another point for Thailand. Good setup by the young Porn Porn. Off of Munoz for that point. Here comes the heater with Onuma at the service area. Oh, good job with that service, but Frias managed it. Juana tries to put it up. Add shut up one, a soft one over a whistle. Had been blown though, and this will be a point for Peru. As a point was called earlier against the front line of Thailand, Echeska's first service. And Onuma is going to let that fly. Plumjit checking in to replace the libero. And Onuma will also be replaced. We'll see Ampin Payong will avance. She also did a great job in that last game. Leva with this attack. As the ball is swiped off, that block attempt by Ad Shadap Warren. And between these two heavy hitters, Leva got the better of uh, Ad Shadap Warren that time. And now Munoz at the service area as they lead 11 to 10. Grays is that. Good job by Malika. And that shot sent right back, though it was out of play. A point there with Plumjit scoring off of the block. And we're tied at 11. Watch out for Malika. That service to Rueda. Oh, wow, Frias buries that targeted Juana. She went up for that, right straight to Juana. Nothing that Atsharapuan can do also to deflect that. And again, Frias with the service to Juana. They go to Porn Porn with a quick over there. Plumjit asked for it. She saw that everyone was stacked up in front. She discusses the next action with Willa Van as Ad Port on that service area. They go to Ru Rueda earlier and she just grazes it, whiffs it like paintbrush from under and scores a new. Here's another angle as Uribe scores that over Plumjit. 
putting Peru on top, 13 to 12. Uribe with that service to Malika, and they dump that over. Quick thinking by the veterans of Thailand. Or rather, one point. Let's take a look at that again. Started with a good reception and the dump setter right there by Porn Poon. She's the young one, 22 years old, and only has one World Cup experience to her name, but she's done well. This time, though, Peru in that last play again called on the strength of Leva to put this away for that cross court all the way down to the other corner. Strong serve to Malika. And a quick right there, Tata with the right idea. Good job by Point Point. Setting it up well, we're tied at 14. Thailand just looking quick here in that last couple of plays. And you have Point Point now. The 22 year old setter hits it. With Leva there, they miscalculated that attempt. And you hardly see errors like that from a top scorer like Leva. Point point to that service area where Frias was, and that that hit just was out of play, but they're gonna challenge that, that hit by Echescas. And a challenge by Peru. And for our challenges, it's a continued commitment of the FIVB to use this wonderful technology. Check it out. And that is on the line. And a point for Echescas. Coach Marasiulo calling it right with that challenge, so they now have the right to call another challenge after that successful one that they had won. 15 all here with Leva, Angela Leva. This 19 year old star, hard to believe that she's only 19 with so much power behind her. That time though, that uh, wonderful hitters of Thailand sends it to this second overtime with Tat Dao, or rather second technical timeout with Tat Dao putting it away strong against Frias. And now Thailand heads into this break with a one point advantage. It's been an arm wrestle between these two squads when Thailand was trying to get things going on there and Peru was quick to respond, but Thailand got that point right back. We're now at the 16th to 15th crossroads with Thailand on top. They won the first set already. They now have 25 attack points, five over Peru. The last one being uh, Tat Dao scoring her fourth. Porn Pun has also been uh, helping Willa Van sends it over to that back left area. Frias put that shot up. Pianot was there earlier. Here's Palacios, bumps it over for this back row attack by the 19-year-old hard hitter, Leva, who puts it up again. Good reception on her part. And a kill coming from Echescas. Over and around, Adjaraporn. No response from Pianut as Echescas on that service area. She's one of uh, the best blockers, showing her prowess with those strong hits that time. Nothing that she can do with that hit, exacting revenge on the part of Thailand. Here's the bump and the setup job for Tat Dao. Good job by Porn Poon. Also, from that right wing, Tat Dao able to put it away for service to Rueda. There's collision there, but they go to Frias, but they block and score off of Plumjit. See that again. Plum jit there off of the frustrated Frias, and they'll be serving it up to Rueda. 
They go to Frias as an option, no touch. And it'll be a point for them though, they said there is a touch indeed by referee Hativa. And that will be challenged by Thailand. Was there a touch? These electronic team tablets, coaches and teams now becoming more comfortable. It was a bit shaky at the start of this tournament, but now you see that they have uh, ease when it comes to the operation as you take a look at whether there was a touch or not. And you can see with this official review right there. Oh, but there was a touch, she says. The challenge of Coach Odd right there. He now uh, is asking for further review, but officials Kraft and Hativa will stand firm. Coach Marasiulo waiting for continued action. Here you go, Thailand, 18 to 16. <laughs> Just needed some clarification there, and that service was to Rueda. Here comes a strong attack there by Uribe earlier. Here is a hard hit, Palacios not being able to control that from that hard hit. Was it Malika? It's now 19 to 16, and what a powerful display that was by Thailand, now forcing Peru to call for a timeout. Thailand has already won set number one, and they need to counter what Thailand's been throwing at them. Okay. Thailand with Willa Van, Porn Pun, Plumjit, Malika Ajcharaporn, who's seeing extended play here in this game, unlike that last one against Korea, where she definitely needed rest because much was on her shoulders in the previous game, leading to that really difficult nail biting five setter against Korea. Tat Dao with that service to Palacios. Munoz will set it up to Frias. <laughs> Like this 18-year-old Magilaura uh, Frias, who's an opposite spiker. She's the best outside spiker and receiver in the 2015 Under-20 Latina Women's Junior Volleyball Cup. Here's a setup, Malika. Good job by Rueda Palacios tries to save that and a back row attack. Strong, good goal. Old Leva really in this squad from Peru. They will be giving Thailand another opportunity and requirement to talk things through again. <laughs> This squad from Peru has seven players who are 20 years old and below. The youngest ones, Magelaura Frias, and of course, Regalado also at 18 years old. Then you also have Urrutia, who's 18 years old. You will be seeing a lot of them. And then you have Palma and Gomez at 19 each. But here is a service by Munoz. She's 23 years old, most likely will also make the cut for that 2020 games. But that time, all attention was on on Thailand again putting it away strong with that attack off of the block at Chetapuan again in the middle of that she's 20 years old such a great player she only has one world championship experience but she's playing like an absolute trooper here's Roweda blocked away by Port Bun. oh wow what a statement by Port Bun. 
Court Point is 170 centimeters tall. And Rueda, her highest spike reach is 312. So was good job by Point Point managing that. Rueda this time without power, sends it over with a left-handed tip. Peru trying to play catch up and prevent Thailand to win a new and set number two. Frias. That earlier was to Pianut. Oh, Palacios. They'll give an opportunity here with a Leva attack. It's still up. Oh, they need to send that over. Will that go through? No. Thailand now with 22 points. And Peru will be calling for a timeout after uh, that last play. They'll need to iron out the kick. Wonderful to be seeing how Frias and them will try to recover. They, they scrambled in that last play. Let's see how Coach Marasiulo will will the squad to come right back into action. Leva there with a strong hit from that left flank and scores a new for Peru. Only needing two points. Good setup job there by Munoz. And with only point point covering her, nothing that Thailand can do to send that right back. Key here for this very young Regalado to make a good account of herself. We just talked about her. She's 18 years old. Look at this now with Ivan. Will Ivan with a strong hit over there. Over on that left side, Will Van will command attention, definitely. They always serve it to Frias. Leva will go up, serves. Hits it down the line for another point for Peru. This is gonna be another close one, folks. Hang in there, look at how she evaded Point Puns. Block attempt three against Leva. And that's what you do against the best scorer who's number three in that ranking. Good job by Palacios. From the back, they just tip it over, but a miscalculated shot there by Frias gives Thailand the set point. Thailand won set number one, 25 to 17. Could they be looking at another set victory here against Peru? Let's see with Porn Puns service. They go to Frias, of course. Munoz to Leva. Keeps it alive, keeps it alive for Peru. Watch the heater here from Leva. She'll send it to Malika. Point point sets it up for that quick and a point again for Peru there with that fault on the side of Thailand. Still a set point. The Thailand's gonna be calling for a timeout here. And oh wow, they are uh, being pushed to their limits here uh, towards the end of set number two. <laughs> Set point for Thailand. Peru, though, putting up a great fight here in the second set. Hoping to prevent Thailand from winning another set. Unfortunately, though, Thailand wasn't able to recover from that and not being able to respond with that service ace. And you see Coach Odd here calling on Onuma to replace Willa Van. And we're tied at 24. After
that service ace. Let's see what Leva's got up her sleeve, and that's long. Perfect time for this hard-hitting Onuma to be called to play. Set point. Onuma to Palacios. They'll set it up for her. Oh, a hit that went long for Frias. She didn't get the angle she was looking for. And that will be the second set victory for Thailand. That was a close call. Onuma, a huge smile for the best uh, player in that last game against Korea. 26 to 24. They did uh, a wonderful performance. We saw a wonderful performance from Thailand late in this match. But Peru fought back. And what a fight that was for Leva, Frias, Icheskas, and company. We'll be seeing, of course, more of them as they prepare now for set number three. It's going to be a tight one. I'm sure you will enjoy. After that tight contest in the second set, the fans of Thailand hoping that they'll continue on the momentum and end this game with another set battle against Peru. Two service aces for Peru still wasn't enough despite leading also in the attacks department, 18 over 15. They need to manage their errors. That was the story in set number two and the blocking of Thailand really was wonderful and brilliant for them. Seven digs for Peru as compared to five of Thailand in terms of attack points total so far here after the two sets you have 29 for Thailand, 27 for Peru. For Thailand they are being paced by Ajcharaporn uh, Kong Yot, who's got seven. Oh, actually, actually, it's Onuma that's leading them with eight. On the part of Peru, Angela Leva still is the one delivering most of the attacks right there with her 14. And the next one for attacks um, is uh, Frias, who's got four attack points, and Uribe also with four. Who will they rely on? You're taking a look at Uribe, the team captain for Peru. They want to finish strong here in this tournament this being already the last day of competitions for the 2016 World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. You have Willa Van there. Willa Van being one of those players at 31 years old, the MVP of the Asian World Volleyball Championships uh, uh, in the past. She's hoping that she and her squad will have another uh, crack at uh, being on top at the end of this match. They are not going to the Olympic Games. They came close. They had a wonderful group Great start here talking about Thailand in this tournament for Thailand. They were able to uh, put away their opponents, the Dominican Republic, in day one. Thailand went on to lose against Italy, though, in their second outing. And then Thailand came back and uh, lost again against the Netherlands 3-0 uh, in day three. And then day four, this is when Japan won in a five-setter, 3-2. to two. But Thailand able to bounce back against Kazakhstan in day five, where they won in straight sets. And now in uh, day six, Thailand won against Korea in another five-setter. And now they're here at this juncture where they want to end this tournament and improve from uh, having just three wins, three losses. And want to win three competitive matches in a row for the first time since a run of five in 2014 and 2015. For Peru, also, they are out of the running for Rio, but they want to claim their third win at this WOQT. They won one match in 2012, so this is already a better 
uh, showing for Peru as they now prepare for the service by the 22-year-old Kat Dao Nukjang. Kat Dao is the 10th best scorer in this tournament heading into this game against Peru. Here is set number three. Peru looking to win this one with an attack coming from the hard-hitting Leva. The 19-year-old outside hitter scoring, drawing first blood here for Peru and set number three. Will they have enough in them? Here's a service by Rueda. They'll go always to Malika, who goes up for that kill. Malika with a 34.7% success rate with her spikes. Now they'll prepare for this hard hit that went long though for Leva and his point goes and is awarded to Thailand. Coach Marasulo looking frustrated there. Malika serves it to Palacios. Munoz over now to Rueda. That good blocking there by Plumchik. That time, though, Echescas makes it go through the team captain. Nothing that Plumchik can do to send it right back. She is fifth in terms of blocks. But Echescas won the better in that earlier rally. Plumjit this time buries it deep right there in the back row, and Plumjit will score again for Thailand, putting them on top three to two. She now sends her teammate with a big high five. Adds Chetapur into the service area. Watch Frias now. Instead, they go this time to Adj Chetapur. Born, born. Will set up Plumjit. Palacios. Oh, that one too deep, but good control still by Leva. That one hit net for Adshadapurn in her attack attempt from the back row. Nineteen-year-old Leva always setting the pace for this squad here. Coach Marasulo hands up in the air as they won that battle this instance, putting Peru on top. Let's see what happened there. That reverse there by Plumjit sent right back by Frias. To Malika, that serve was, and here comes Willa Van. Good job by Rueda. They set up. Frias denied over there. Frias will try again this time through Plumjit, but that's wide and point for Thailand. Plumjit serve went to Frias. They'll try to control this. Rueda with a bump over, but that is wide. And so they scramble there, giving a headache really to Coach Marasiulo. And he's going to be getting his girls steady here for this service by Plumjit. Five leading for Thailand over Peru. Plumjit to Palacios. Here's Munoz, sets it up from that back row attack. Wow! But the ball's still alive, mind you, despite that hard hit coming from Leva. And it's denied, sent right back, but it's wide. That's just hit out by Kat Dao. Liking it. Good action we're seeing here in set number three as Peru hopes to win this. Cheskas to Malika, here's Willa Van. Good job by Cheskas, but unfortunately that dig of hers went wayward and this will be a point again for Thailand. Let's see Willa Van there, it was off and off of Munoz and that actually made the ball spin a little bit more and out of control. Hard to read over there as one point to serve. To Grueda that time, Munoz. Good job by Adshara Born, Willa Van again. Dinner. And that 
block. Watch Rueda, or Uribe rather, Uribe sends it right back all the way to the back corner. Dios to serve, we're tied at six. Malika with that reception as the hard-hitting Willa Van will send it long, and that'll be a point for Peru. Owning up and cheering on her squad. Let's see how they'll respond with another Munoz service. Put up by Malika. They quickly set this up on two earlier by Tatkao. Porn Pun back set. Will Evans denied again. Uribe doing a stellar job here. Let's see how she's able to put that away. Stuffing it right back. And the team captain will earn that eighth point. And we're now at our first technical timeout. Peru heading to that with a two-point advantage. Thailand will continue to chase their dream for the first ever Olympic Games. They'll have to wait another four years before they come close to grasping that Olympic appearance. Meantime, for Peru, this squad right here, who's ranked 23rd in the world from the CSV Confederation, has had eight World Cup appearances, seven Olympic appearances, and who can forget their run in the 1980s, which was the golden age for Peruvian volleyball. Wow, Pat Dow making a statement right there. She puts it up with a brilliant quick over where Munoz was. Willavan for service, they'll go to Frias. Quick there by Rueda. Uribe earlier actually with the hit. Unfortunately for the part of Peru, Thailand had a lot up their sleeves with some strong, powerful hitters. Malika making a good account of herself as we take a look at the service from Willavan to Frias. She'll go up and is denied, but good save right there by Leva. And that time, Frias hitting it just out of play. So we take a look where that shot landed, way out of play there. Willa Van for service to Frias. She's been a good target here for Thailand, but Frias will make it pay. Good dig by Malika. Sprawl on the floor to get that. Seeing good action here as Frias tried to put it away. Good recovery by Peru. Here's the good dig right there by Malika. Over on the other side, here's that finish. Just out of reach as Frias on that service area. To Atschadaporn, good dig. They'll go up with Malika and Point Point tried to chase that down, but off of the hit again. Those blockers from Peru are tough to deal with, especially Uribe. She's been absolutely taking control of that front line, impenetrable. Willavan earlier with the reception, and that's within. As Ashtaraborn scores it and ties this game with that good hit. Watch as Plumjit is on that floor. She'll man that front line after that service by Tatao. Plumjit goes up, but that goes through. Ball still alive after that dig right there of Porn Porn and Tatao. Good job by Tatao again. Will Avant to add Porn, but that's sent over. Oh, but this is going to be an opportunity for Peru, and they end that beautiful rally with Rueda handling it well from that right wing. 
And it was through Plumjit that time that Rueda able to hit it from the offhand side. Uribe for service to Pianot earlier. At Shara Point bumps it over. Here's Munoz to set up Rueda. Off the block of Plumjit. Born Poon sets it up. At Shara Point. Here she goes. Denied. That ball is over. Plumjit punches it through. Here's Munoz. Watch out for that hard hitter. Plumjit doing a great job. That time, though, it went through her hands. Not giving up. Leva scores a new for Peru. Brilliant plays we're seeing here from both ends. Peru winning that instance still with them. Uribe at service. They go once again to Pianot. And put right there by Plumjit. Safely on this other side. Plumjit with a fake. They go to Malika. That actually could have been sent out. But... That ball deflected anyway through Leva. And they couldn't do anything to return that hit. Malika with that service to Palacios. They'll try to find control. They'll just bump it over. Malika receiving it. They go to Atshara Porn. And they now battle for position here for Thailand. Porn Porn once again to Atshara Porn. Those blockers ball still alive. Good job by Willa Van. Unfortunately, Porn Porn though short. Coming up short with that attempt. Momentum still on the side here of Peru. Twenty-six year old wing spiker to weather with that service earlier. And they'll now score on the side of Thailand and it's been a seesaw battle. And team captain sliding to the right wing for that hit off of the block of Leva. Plumjit scoring a new, keeping Thailand in step. Palacios received that service from Ad Sharaporn. Willavan tries to save it. Ad Sharaporn over now to Malika for that back row attack. Quickly now to Echeskas. Malika still part of the action. Plumjit again from Porn Porn. Now Leva, watch it. Porn Porn to Willavan. Willavan ending that rally. And it's fun here at the players' pit where you have Nutsara cheering on the younger Porn Porn who's been setting up brilliant plays right here. Sweet as nectar as you have. At Shutter Porn again back in the service area to Palacios. Munoz will decide to dump it over. Touched by Willavan, the weather chasing it down. They go to Leva off the block there. Plumjit, Leva will score at will. Talked about the young Leva who played for Peru in the 2014 and 2015 FIVB World Grand Prix. But she is outdone, outclassed by the veteran Plumjit. 32 years old, MVP in the Asian Championships. At the Asian level, you know she is one that you can rely on. That hit, though, returned by Thailand. Care of Malika, ball still alive. Oh, no, miscalculated. Much to the frustration of coach Mauro Bra Maraciulo, the Brazilian coach has a slew of experience. Peru preparing for Plumjit. They go to Palacios after Plumjit served. That's just long, but there was contact there by Tadao. one all the way to the finish, I believe, with the Cheskas will try to break this deadlock. From the back row, they go, and that's long. 
That'll be a point again for Peru with a second technical timeout. Peru still with the lead here. And what great plays we've been seeing from both ends here in this exciting third set. How will Coach Odd adjust here in set number three? Peru might be leading here 16 to 15 after this technical timeout, but overall Thailand has amassed 66 points as compared to Peru, who has 57 points. Thailand's attack points mostly coming from Tat Dao, who's got six, Plum uh, Jit, who's got seven. You also have Onuma with eight, and Ashtaraport with eight, and Malika with six. Willavan contributing three. Let's see how they'll respond now with Echescas at that service area to Malika. Born Pun quickly tries to control that for Tat Dao earlier. Went up for that spike. Watch this attack by Willavan. Good job there by Peru, keeping it alive. Pianut there on the floor to try to save that. Good dig there by Frias, unfortunately. Another collision on the floor. Frias actually involved with that dig by Rueda earlier. Here's Rueda coming out of nowhere, and that didn't give enough space here for Frias to get to that. And a point here, 16 apiece. Point point with that service to Rueda. Munoz will send it over to Frias. That shot deflected here again. Palacios, they'll try Frias again. Point point will set up Willa Van, but that was an uh, unfortunate turn of events. Not a good setup job there by Point point But she's been consistent. Mind you, she makes little errors, which is why she's still there and we're not seeing the veteran Nutsara as of yet. Here's Munoz for the service. They sent that to Piano earlier. Pat Dao getting a piece of that action. Pat Dao scoring through and ripping through Uribe. The 22-year-old challenge Uribe, 31. This time again, the young heroes like Frias making a good account of herself, 18 years old, very powerful, a bright future ahead as she swipes it off the defense of Ashtaraport. Again, it's been a seesaw battle. Peru with an opportunity to stretch this lead here from the service. That hit net, unfortunately. We're again tied at 18. Dao for service, watch the area of Frias, but Palacio is right there. Here's Leva, that is wide, but it hit one of the players from Thailand. And here you'll see Echescas coming in for Palacio. As a 26-year-old wing spiker, or rather, 31-year-old went up for that shot, but that time, Thailand with high fives in the air. This is the reason why they have much to celebrate as Atsura Point killed it off the block of Rueda. Malika for service. She's been doing well in that department. That ball, though, grazed the net. Good job by Adjitra Porn, trying to deflect that hit earlier. Palacio still, there was already an error on the part and a fall on the part of Peru. Thailand now in the driver's seat. A timeout is needed by Coach Maras Yulo. They have to get over the mental hurdle. It's going to be tough to go up against, to beat Thailand at this juncture with so much confidence on the part of Thailand with this two-set lead. Thailand.
Japan leading 20 to 19 after this timeout. Let's see who will respond for Coach Marasiulo. They trail in terms of attacks, 38 to 42 in terms of blocks, seven as opposed to Thailand's nine. But they have managed their errors. Let's see this service from Malika. They'll go to Leva with that cross court and they score. There's a touch there from that front line and Plumjit was the one who grazed that cross court shot right there by the hard hitting Leva who's got 109 spikes going into this battle. But here's the service. The Anut was then quick to respond. You have now Plumjit all smiles after that good recovery. Take a look at that slide that she did over there. She sent it all the way to the back. As Ach should report back, the first Nutsara rather is back, and we're finally seeing Nutsara, who's the number nine best spy setter here in this tournament, averaging 4.25. Point point will be replaced. It's Cheskas seeing a way through the defense. Nice setup job right there. She's got good hands talking about Munoz. We're tied at 21. Will Peru take this all the way to a victory here in set number three? And a quick right there with a wonderful finish by Plumjit. Good job by Nutsara. And Plumjit. With this serve, she sent it over to Palacios. Munoz, nice job by Icheskas. That's down the line for Icheskas. The 22-year-old middle blocker doing work right there as you have again Regalado. This Peruvian squad is one of the youngest teams in this tournament. They average 22 years of age and an AC. That's why you have Regalado there. She's needed for those types of services. And that's an ace and a triggered timeout here by Coach Odd with a service like that where at Shut Up Warren couldn't even put it up. Peru on top, 23-22 at Sharaporn. You know how she responds, right? You know how she reacts. After an error, she has the ability to come back strong. But watch out for Regalado in that middle area where Pianut is. Good job by Pianut putting it up this time. Soft touch, ball returned by Tatnao earlier's attack. Good job there by Fria. She gets right back up for this hit that just went long for Rueda. Her tied at 23. Porn Porn back in action. And she'll replace number 12, Pimpichaya, who played sparingly, and Nutsara. Porn Poon back, and you also have Malika back, so you have the starters of Coach Ott to try to put this match away. Here's that strong attack, good up by Pianut. Willavan, but good job there by Leva. Leva will bump it over though, miscalculated hit, and that is wide. Set match point rather for Thailand. That's an unfortunate error there on the part of Leva. Timeout by Peru. They've had seven Olympic appearances. They'll miss the bus this time around, the last one being in 2000. We'll see how we'll respond there. Coach Marasiulo pushing this squad, digging deep, helping them, trying to manage the situation. Let's take a 
look at how they'll survive the onslaught. Willavan being replaced by Onuma. And if Onuma can finish this, it'll be a great victory. Point Pun, all the way to where Rueda was. Here's Frias, good job by Onuma. Key replacement there, and she'll go for a strong hit. Malika bumps it over to Point Pun. Here's Onuma again! And that's why you put Onuma. She will finish it for you, and that's exactly what she did. Straight sets, victory for Thailand. 25-17, 26-24, and another thriller of an ending here in set number three, 25-23. They missed the opportunity to appear at the Olympic Games for the first time. But Thailand, who came from two sets behind to win 3-2 against Korea, have now won against Peru in straight sets and have claimed their three successive wins here at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament for the first time. And what an accomplishment that is for Thailand. Tat Dao, Nuk Jang, Lung Jit, Yang Kao. Onuma with that great finish after a 22-point output in their last game. She was the finisher. And then, of course, you have Achchara Porn. Malika also held for it. Porn Porn was brilliant. Pia Nut was great. And Wana also. You have these great players from Thailand. And you know, even though their senior, most senior player at 35 years old is Wana and their youngest player, Mox Creek Chachuan so much will still be ahead for the near future for Coach Odd and company. Coach Odd has steered this squad, who's the youngest team amongst the Asians, averaging 24 years of age, but they are the shortest team, only averaging 175 centimeters. Coach Odd did a stellar job putting this squad together. Of course, Coach Odd as a player who won gold with Thailand back in 1985 and 1995 in the Southeast Asian Games, who's married to Feng Kun of China. He's hoping that uh, this squad will continue on their success. You know, Thailand is a perennial gold medalist in the Southeast Asian Games, and they absolutely are incredible on that stage and they'll continue to climb up. This three straight set went over Peru. Here in this third set had 15 attack points from Thailand. They limited their errors, really a great set for them. And then even though they didn't do as well in this particular set in terms of blocks as opposed to Peru's five, it was those 23 heroic digs. Peru has amassed eight block points throughout this, but it was nothing against Thailand's relentless attacks here. As you can see, it's a great victory and a great day for Thailand as they end their tournament now on a high note. They missed the bus for the Olympics, but they will be going home, making their country men proud. It's been a great, great tournament for Thailand, missing on their first opportunity to head to the Olympics, but it was a great showing for them. Peru also showed a, a lot of heroics. All in all, it was a great entertaining game. Congratulations again to Thailand. I'm Patricia Ezon for the 2016 World Olympic Qualification Tournament.